Keepsakes the podcast supports Mr. Speedy. Stay tuned to this episode for a special discount code for your first Mr. Speedy delivery. Mm-hmm. I learned this term during the vaccine um, ano, strategic communication and demand generation. Bagong term for marketing. Mm-hmm. Hindi na ngayon. Dati, marketing lang yan, marketing lang yan. Pero ngayon, iba na ngayon. Demand generation. You generate demand to your audience. It's the 90th episode of the podcast. Diego na po, Keepsakes. Salamat po at muli kayo nandito upang makinig sa amin or panoorin tong podcast na to wherever you are and whenever you are listening or watching this. Again, 10 episodes shy from reaching 100 episodes. 100 episodes. Hindi ko hindi ko akala na I will reach this far. It's been a while since I did this podcast thing. And thankfully, ito yung nag isa sa mga uh, nakatulong sa akin to do whatever I'm currently at today. So, uh, thank you again to those who are listening and watching. We have a very important episode to discuss. So, our guest for this episode is the senior correspondent at Anime Industry News website, Anime Pilipinas. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Red Mendoza. Hi, Red! Yeah, nice. Good afternoon. Good, good day to everyone listening into this podcast. And I know you're. Um, yeah, this is the first time that I'm guesting fully on this podcast. Pero of course, I've invited Jay on my own podcast. Hindi ko na natuloy. Because I'm too busy. Those were the I'm times, huh? Oh, pero yeah. Uh, it's great to be here, and I hope that uh, we you hope you enjoy our little conversation. Um, and yeah, this could this is going to be a very interesting conversation. I tell you. Mm-hmm. Ito yung parang mamumulat ka nilang biglaan ang nangyayari pala ito, no? So, uh-huh. di ba? Uh, okay, before we start with our conversation muna, no? For, uh, again, uh, what's been happening so far on your end? Aside well, dun sa beat mo. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, um, not many people know. I don't know if not many people know, but um, of course, I write for the Manila Times, the country's oldest newspaper. Uh, I, of course, it's a daily grind. Well, almost a, almost daily grind, six days a week. And yeah, but every time na may spare time ako, um, I always get um, get to write something and go back to my anime roots because uh, yeah, um. It's hard to balance life as a journalist and also as an anime fan as well. Pero it's ano naman. I need anime. Uh, of course, this is a cliche already, and yeah, I need some semblance of what the nor what normalcy I had before watching anime. Because that's the only time I'm going to leave out of my um of my life as a journalist, as a reporter, because first and foremost, I am an anime, I am an anime fan, and um, it's, for me, it's, um, it's my escape, it's my passion, and of course, uh, it's a way to say na, it's a way for me to, to distress from this world, uh, this world that I live in. I mean, I mean, I've been, I've been reporting on anime for more than, Ten years already. Now I've been re- reporting on the on the front lines on the on the health situation in the country, which is a very <laughs> tough beat right now. Yes, uh, definitely. Oh, oh I, I mean, next to Malacanang, uh, that eh, ang pinaka ta- one of the toughest beats was Malacanang. Pero right now the health beat is one of the toughest right now. Mm-mm. And I'm honored na I'm I get to report history, and at the same time I'm also. Uh, stressed out when seeing the numbers that we are having right now. So, sino, sino hindi may stress sa numbers natin? And, diba? Uh, diba? Hybrid oh, oh. yun. Mm-hmm. Hybrid yun na nagre-report ka, do, na nagre-report ka um, on, on what the Department of Health is doing. Of course, they are the lead agency in this effort. Pero, at the same time, um, you get to talk to people na 
you get to you get to interview experts. I talk to the guys at Okta Research. I talk to the to the doctors. Uh, I talk to hospital owners, and I talk to um, even send questions to the Palakanyang press briefing just to get my point as well. But also, you also talk to you um, know I guess uh, ito, just a a quick um, a quick digression lang dun sa dun sa um, pinag-uusapan natin ngayon na uh, nung Easter Sunday though it's a very hard story I've interviewed two people tungkol doon sa mga experiences nila doon sa mga hospitals it's a very tough story um especially when I interviewed one yung, yung interview si Angelo Barrera uh, it's a very tough story it's a very tough interview pero I think I did my job well I think and right now the people need to know the truth right now pero we don't want to just uh report it alarmingly we don't want to be alarmist but this is what is happening ito yung nangyayari ngayon and um i hope that um i hope people will understand that we're just here to tell stories we're just here to report what is happening on the ground of course through the eyes of the department of health and of course through the different um people that we talk to and i hope they understand well that um again we've been stressing this all with the people in we, we have been stressing this all the time that the virus is real and it's th- still threatening us it's still threatening us and i hope na you follow all the protocols right now lalo na kung lalabas kayo kasi ako as much as i want to go out for coverage to do to I'm only went two times for coverage during vaccine rollout itong March and then I stuck back at home na I went back at home na ulit I went uh, home na ulit ako so yeah nakakatakot pa rin pero right now we're hope we're hopeful na kasi may mga may bakuna na we're vaccinating um, my dad got vaccinated dito sa Quezon City and hmm. I hope you get yours too once you are eligible Yes, once you're eligible. Yeah, note lang ah, once you are eligible, the steps uh-huh. are there. Um, if you're A1, A2, A3, wala na may comorbidities, please take that, take, take that available vaccine right now. So, mm-hmm. yun lang. Um, it's a tough job, but it's a prestigious job. And yes. I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be doing that. I mean, no, no people want to cover this uh, pandemic like in the most um sabi ko nga if you're in a war you'd be you'd love to report into the front lines and my beat is technically the front line of the response so yeah it's <coughs> sabi ko nga it's distra- it's stressing nakaka stress but at the same time i'm pretty honored i'm basically mm-hmm. honored and i'm privileged to cover this part of history yes definitely kasi um, among the people, among the surroundings, ano, it, of course, uh, hindi hindi lingit sa kalaman na lahat na uh, magka, ano, we're just this uh, we just that close sa, especially sa isang chat group na we had, ano, <laughs> Oo, na, na doon tayo share ng info, doon tayo nakikipagkumustahan, I get Correct. to, ano, as much as possible, I read yung mga konong nangyayari, kahit busy, you know, it's, journalism is really a hard job these days, yeah. pero, Pero mm-hmm. ikaw, you you take it in stride. And I'm happy. I'm very happy. Kasi, again, you've been doing this for more than a decade. Yeah. You're covering the beat. You're practicing your craft. And then now, you're one of the uh, health beat reporters oh. na, na nakikinig na rin ng pangalan pagdating <laughs> sa mga tanungan. Yeah. Yeah, medyo conscious pa rin ako kasi dati lang when you say of course when people when we go to conventions and we go to press conference sa conventions ako tatasa ko ng kamay dyan just to ask the question pero yung na yung ikaw yung magtatanong mismo sa mga tulad ng mga press con ng mga ayun nga mga press con Harry Roque laging handa I especially ha, oh. I mean uh, I get the kick I get a kick on my head and say Ma, talaga bang nagtatanong ako I mean yeah it's my right to ask questions, pero hanggang ngayon, I've been new into this beat for more than, for only about eight months. Diyan ako nagsimula. I'm nearing a year into this beat, pero, uh, I still can't 
imagine that some of my questions had become newsworthy items. Not na nagbubuhat ako ng bangko, pero uh, ano eh, sometimes kasi the questions is the question is right there on my Facebook feed. And then I just ask the question and then boom, it explodes. Mm-hmm. So, yun, so yun lang. Uh, that's basically, <coughs> that's one, I don't know, that's one of the things I learned about um, uh, I learned uh, covering events. I mean, I know, we, we do, call, we cover events and we talk to organizers, we talk to guests, we talk to event goers, and, and sometimes yung mga tanong natin is just ano, uh, ano masasabi mo sa gato event, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, ano na kain mo, yan, yan. Oh, that, that, that reminds me of those times. Yung mga ganong inanit, inane questions, but sometimes, mm-hmm. when you, well, eto, uh, I think, nandito na nandun ka ng time na yun, Toycon. The first time they went into SMX yata, I think 2015, 2015 ba yun? Yeah, yeah. Sa, basta yung time na nandun sila sa SMX. I point, napansin ko kasi na walang Japanese content doon sa Toycon. Mm. So, um, that's a very, that's an interesting question. And I asked that to Cholo, malilim. Well, to be fair, nasagot naman nila na, sa, na they're trying to cater to all groups. Pero, ano pa rin eh? a little bit downer, medyo downer yung, medyo downer yung response na rin ko sa kanya. But still, that's a, that's a response. That's a response. Mm, so, mm. Um, yeah, sometimes, um, the exper- experiences can lead you into quest, into what sort of questions or discussions that you're going to talk to with organizers and even the cosplayers when when they after the win or like, artists uh, ikaw, ikaw, or you've, you've been talking to cosplayers who won championships on the yeah, spot yeah. right off the bat very oh, aware oh. tayo dyan. yeah uh, yun nga after after the win uh, unang unang ang basic na tanungan tanungan dyan is unang anong pakiramdam mo number two kailan mo to ginawa number three may ganong format pero sometimes you have to digress it and then you see the you see the emotion and the high nung nung mga winners na yon and then suddenly they get they get um they get quotable quotes and then bam uh, there's the story in front of you na na tayo yung mga ta- yes yes sorry ang, sorry ang, nakakita ang din ngayon ang isa sa mga skills na natutunan ko ngayon is writing at the same day <laughs> mm. Same day writing, oh. Yes. Kasi, yeah, normally kasi, of course, sa events, i- 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 ano muna? Hindi muna natin susulat yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi, why not? Of course, hindi man tayo, hindi man to full-time job. This is a passion. Mm-hmm. Pero because, right now, we're writing, I'm, I'm working as a journalist, then, nahasa tuloy yung pagiging, ano ko, yung pagiging, ano ko, nahasa tuloy yung makikinig ko, and then pagsusulat ko, and then paghahanap ng mga quotes and then looking at the story. That's one skill na na hanggang na na hone ko na ngayon. I'm still trying I'm still trying that skill and yeah. Um maybe magagamit ko siya in the future when we go back into when we go back into physical events. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. And yung mga ano eh definitely na miss kong events uh that's uh, the reason why I'm here at the events industry is because of events. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's this term called Jurassic, meaning yung mga seminarista, mga uh-huh. ano mga libre leaflets, mga pretes and ganyan. Again, we started from I started from that day, but, uh-huh. but of course, definitely right. You started from the bottom of ano kumbaga, you hang out with friends and all that. Yeah. We, we do, we do. We oh, all oh. started from that. I mean, we just all st- nung nagsisimula pa lang ako sa conventions eh. Eh, nag, ano pa lang ta- eh, ako, n- ano lang ako noon, Hero TV Forums pa noon. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, Hero TV Forums. So... <laughs> 2005, 2006 pa yon 2005. Hero TV Forums pa lang noon. Mm-hmm. Ano pa lang noon? Uh, Di pa uso pa Facebook noon. noon. Di pa uso Facebook oh, wala pa Facebook noon. Friendster pa yata. Friendster pa- and Marquisi Trigger Overlay Generator. <laughs> hindi ko pwede, hindi ko pwede bangkitin ng Friendster nang wala Marquisi Trigger Overlay Generator. <laughs> Di ba? Yun, uh, friends there pa noon. 
Nako, nagkakabukin yan na po ng edad. Oo. Oh, oh. Tito, tito ka na, di ba? Tito ka na? Oo, oh, tito. Tito, well, tito na din ako. Literally, tito na ako dahil may pamangkin na ako. Ako pero, din, may yeah, pamangkin I, na ako. <laughs> Oo. Oh, so, we're literally titos already. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yun nga. Um, we started, uh, we, we just started sa forums. Ako nga, basically, late bloomer ako sa, sa community eh. Late bloomer ako eh. We, there are people who have been into the community way earlier than me. Year 2000, 1999. Mm-hmm. Ako, I just went here 2005. Five years na silang nandyan. Ako, nagsisimula pa lang ako. ako nakita ko lang si na Pablo Bayran na magkakasama. Oh. Wala pa. Wala pa yon. I'm just there. I'm just still there. Dito lang ako sa... Dito lang sa circle. Dito lang sa... Sa circle ng friends na yon. And then, yun nga, we started... Um, And then, yun nga, forums, forums, yan. Uh, yung, uh, ano? Um, Zeno TV forums, Zeno ta- Zenhon forums, Zenho- so, yun, yung ano namin. Diba? Yung, yung, ano namin. How can I say this? Uh, Genesis namin, or yung, yung first, ano namin, uh, Zenhon, Zeno ta- Honbo, ABS-CBN forums, yan. Ayan, oo. Oh, oh. Sa forums, forums lang nagsimula. And Pinoy yun, Exchange, yun. don't forget Pinoy Exchange. Yeah, Pex, of course, the the OG. The OG. Pex, oh, the OG. And then, yun nga, uh, ABS-CBN forums, and then later on, Hero TV forums, and then Zen Otaku Honbu, and then, yun nga, when we decided na uh, maybe we could do this, and then Multiply came. <laughs> Ayan, Multiply. Definitely Multiply. The... the The thing is, we can create, create our own websites, photos, videos on Multiply, and then it all started from there. Yun na yun. It all started from there. 2005, 2006, 2007. I mean, ah, we've been, I've been attend. I mean, we all been attending events for more than 10 years already, and we have seen so much in the event industry before it went into a grinding halt last year. Yun nga eh. Nakita natin yung evolution eh. Nakita mm-hmm. natin eh. I mean, lest be I emo- lest be I'm going to be a bit emotional about it, but yeah, I guess the year 2005 to 2020, that 15 year period where I've been attending events where we could be attending events, or, yeah, Sabihin na natin, 2005, kasi yun yung nagsimula Hero TV. Hato Hanip Hero. 2005 to 2020, that 15-year period, it's a first era of pop culture. And I'm saying it right now for the first time. This is the first era where Filipino pop culture fans had converged. Kasi, dan lahat nagsimula eh. Basically, halos lahat yata ng mga... Nung mga nakilala ko mga I think iba yata mga nagsimula din after when they heard about Hato Hanip Hero. Ayan, yung mga ano eh. Hindi ko na nabutan yung Hato Hanip Hero niya. Ang nabutan ko na Hero Nation 2016. Ayan, Hero Nation. Oh, yung, yung kasag sa after that was eight, uh, after eight, eight, ano? 8, 8, 8. 2018. 2008. 8, 9. Basta something like that. <coughs> Pero their first convention experience excuse me, was Hato Hanep Hero, 2005. Well, for me, yung first Hato Hanep Hero ko was in 2006. But uh, my real first, my first convention was uh, Toycon, 2005. Uh, ito, nakakal, ito, I can't, um, I, I, hindi ko makalimutan to. Uh, an exhibitor approached me. Meron ako ID exhibitor. I, I was an exhibitor for a friend. Somebody approached me and said, Sir, kilala mo ba si Azrael? Of course, my thinking was, ang Azrael lang nakilala ko was yung Azrael sa Gundam Seed. <laughs> <laughs> so sabi ko, hindi ko kilala. <laughs> so yun, yun ang... Pasensya na, sir, ask ko makilig nyo tong story na to, pero this is true story. <laughs> So, ang later ko na nalaman ng Astral na yung si Sir Asko Ladilla. So, yan. And, yun nga. Uh, and then, later, and then, it blew up from there. I mean, 
from just being an observer to being to just be there going to events talking to friends um cosplay group of course may cosplay group ako you can't believe it yes i have a cosplay group ah people will not believe me i'm i don't uh, me i'm not a cosplayer but i have a cosplay group hell yes i even cosplayed edu manzano mm 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 mm, mm. <laughs> So, so, so sumaya ka ng papaya nun? Yeah, sumaya ako ng papaya sa hindi yun. SMX. Yeah. Yun. Yun. That's, now Pero yung ano na yun, ang daming kasing cosplayers nun, nun time na yun, hit nung 2007. So, kasi, kasi ito lang, kasi ginay ko lang si Jamir. Si Manny Pacquiao. So, if, can, if Jamir can do it, Manny Pacquiao can do it, then I can do it. Pero, yeah, that's the first and last of it. That's the first and last of it. So, yun. <laughs> We've been digressing all this. So, yun. Um... So yeah, people listening to this podcast, we're saying I'm we're I'm discussing all my experiences because that is how it built me. That's how it built me. That's how it built my character, my the my profession right now, what I've been doing. And yeah, those those were good times. Those were good times. And and kasabay nun that uh I always share my opinions about about uh, issues about anime program I mean dati rate we've been talking ako ang when I I'm and I blog dati ang lagi kong target talaga anime programming kasi hodang may makinig pa sa akin hindi ko alam kung may makikinig sa akin or what mm-hmm. o saan nagsusulat ako diba and how, so, how long have you been writing about anime programming ever since you started ah 2005 2005 yeah. so it started 2005. from yeah the, the first blog April 2005. Let's take a break as I introduce you to Mr. Speedy. Mr. Speedy caters to businesses and SMEs by providing dedicated writers and reliable account managers to deliver and ensure all transactions are fulfilled. I've tried Mr. Speedy for select orders and I can guarantee their service. So please try them out. Here's a special deal for all podcast listeners. Get $1 off when you place your first delivery with Mr. Speedy when you use the code Keepsakes MR Speedy. Again, that's Keepsakes MR Speedy. You may book a delivery via their website, mrspeedy.ph, or you may download the Mr. Speedy app from the Apple App Store, Google Play, and Huawei Mobile Gallery. Link is also in the description. Available for Metro Manila, nearby provinces, and Cebu. Keepsakes, the podcast, supports Mr. Speedy. Now back to the show. And you're still writing about ano ah, about yeah. anime programming nowadays. Kasi alam uh, I know you're trying to distress yourself. Pero medyo na stress kaya ata when <laughs> ano moving fast forward we, News Asia tama ba is this is it News Asia or anyone? Media link ano? Uh, yeah. Media link yeah, of Hong uh, Kong uh, and Media anyone anyone yeah yeah. Yeah. Media link of Hong Kong uh who's handling anyone and Media Corp of Singapore, Singapore State Broadcaster had a deal na yung mga select anime ilalagay sa Mi Toggle service ng uh, Media Corp. So, Mi-watch. Ni na Mi Toggle. Ah, Toggle. Mi Toggle. Too late ka na. I'm, I'm, I'm used to saying Toggle eh. <laughs> Pero Mi-watch na. <laughs> tingnan nyo, tingnan nyo, papunta pa lang to. Ano, pa, pa, ano, pa, pa-uwi pa lang to. Papunta pa lang ako. <laughs> Thank you, Gold905. <laughs> Ayun tayo eh. Uh-huh. Masanay ako sa CNA eh. <laughs> Ayun. Oo. Uh-huh. Uh, but yun nga, so we're talking about anime programming here. In contrast to the, say, the, the VODs that we have, na parang may kanya-kanyang circles, yung talagang, when, we say, when you say uh, MiWatch, State Broadcasters uh, Video On Demand Platform, of course, may mga ibang platforms pa rin dyan, pero having that deal, of course, syempre, tuwan-tuwa ang anime community na Singapore, they can watch more. Yeah, that's Uh-oh. true, kasi... Um... Kasi ganito, um, the only time they can watch anime, it, of course, of course, they have their own linear channels. They have Animax, mm-hmm. or they have Aniplus, yes. and they also have on-demand versions ng kanilang mga anime shows. Mm-hmm. Of course, yung mga pinipilan titles ni Animax and Aniplus will only depend on their, on their, of course, decision nila yung kung mga anime titles na kukunin nila. Mm-hmm. At yung makukuha it, nila. Yes. Totoo yun. And even availability on their on-demand services, uh, Singtel and Starhub. But <laughs> putting anime on 
on Singapore's um sabihin na nating major free uh, major over the top service this is this is major over the top services and yun nga not just select of course hindi lang yung mga bagong titles pati yun rin yung library content ng media link in, in kahit na sabihin na natin English and Chinese subtitles pa yan it's still a coup a coup is a coup it's still a win-win situation for Media Corp and Media Link like I said in my blog <coughs> it allows Media Corp to expand their audience to a, to um, to a larger audience like anime uh, anime fans and Aminado sila doon. Nandun sa press release yun. Aminado sila. Anime is one of the fastest rising content. It's also a win for Media Link because it allows their content to be shown aside from their YouTube channel mm-hmm. na, na available ngayon sa... na available din dito. I mean, that's basically a win-win situation for both Media Corp and Media Link. Kaya... I, kaya... That's suddenly nung nung nabasa ko nung nabasa ko talaga yon kasi I only knew about it from a Singaporean cosplayer that I follow. Mm-hmm. A Singaporean cosplayer that I follow and then um and then yun nga um it all went from there. And then suddenly I had this um I had this idea and then yun na nag-gestate na yung idea na yeah Singapore na naman tayo sa pansitan. Oo. <laughs> so, kasi, okay, um, to give more context, as far as I understood, Muse Asia, also based in, uh, based in Singapore talaga, has mm-hmm. partnerships with IKEA and, uh, yeah, tama, IKEA. They have partnerships Uh-oh. with IKEA and other platforms yata. No? They are also, so, they're also seen on other platforms. May branch in Singapore, pero they're headquartered in Taiwan. Taiwan, oo. So, you know, not, and then there's anyone. So finally, equal ground. They're on equal ground now when it comes Correct. to distributing anime. Uh, of course, now we move on to the Philippines. Santay mm-hmm. makapanood, Muse Asia and anyone, YouTube channels. So uh-huh. I've, I've talked about this before in, uh, in an extent na ito yung magiging future ng anime streaming. Pero of course, uh, you went back to our video on demand platforms, our over the top platforms. Uh-huh. Yes, Kasi ito lang ang problema ko sa YouTube eh. Mm-mm. Ito lang problema ko sa YouTube. Yes, YouTube is a very good platform. But with millions of videos on YouTube, <laughs> and you're very much, uh, lahat ng video na yun, available, ano, of course, madidistract ka rin. Mm-hmm. Madidistract ka rin sa YouTube. Ako, a- ako, this is a personal experience. I would want to watch anime on anyone in Muse Asia. I've subscribed to them. Pero of course, madidistract ka when you add, when you watch other programs or other uh, YouTube videos. So, yun nga. Like for example, when ako, I always use YouTube as source for laging handa. So, ang ma- ma- may kita mo doon, puro PTV. Mm-hmm. When may kita mo kung may interview akong habulin sa ANC, of course, yung video doon, ANC. Pero ako, kung gusto ko manood ng Ninong Rai, of course, yung video na yun, puro Ninong Rai. Certified mm-hmm. din na anak. Mm-hmm. So yun, that's the, of course, madidistract ka. Of course, if you're strong enough to remove that distraction, magagawa mo. Pero sa, pero yun nga, ang pinakamalaking kalaban mo sa YouTube is not, it's not because the content is there, the content is available there, you're distracting. Yung video sa gilid, mm-hmm. it's, a distra- it's a welcome distraction. It's a welcome distraction. So, a- ako, that's my point. That's my point of view sa YouTube. But I don't, I don't, I don't uh, mean it to say na pangit yung, of, pangit yung YouTube as a um, hosting platform for video on demand. I don't, I see it as, as uh, democratizing video content, but for me, it's a bit, it's a bit, distracting, medyo clut- cluttering lang. Yun mm-hmm. lang yung, yun lang yung medyo, ano ko, um, downside doon. On the upside, yes, it's a very good platform. Um, you can geolock, geolock it and all. But, having said that, yun nga, we could expand it 
aside from the four corners of YouTube, and yun nga, yun, sabi mo nga, IKE, Bilibili, Thailand, and other streaming services, we TV, iFlix, and all. All, uh, uh. Now, moving back doon sa distractions, hindi ko naintindihan yung situation mo at first until I realized I'm a simp for VTubers. And lahat <laughs> ng mga recommendations sa gilid ay puro mga VTubers. So, paano na? Diba? Mm-mm. Diba? So, yun. That's... Well, yun nga. Nan- kung ano yung sa recommendations feed mo, of course, manonood ka ng anime. Pero, sometimes you get... You get... Bit, hindi ka naman... Uh, I mean, natin. When we watch videos, sometimes we get distracted or naboboringan tayo sa pinanood natin. Gusto natin may padang iba na something. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's like watching TV. Pag nanonood ka ng TV, um... Napanood kang palabas and then sabi, ah, yung lipat. In short, <laughs> short attention span. Correct. Short attention span. Kalaban mm-hmm. mo ang short attention span mo. <laughs> diba? we, all live, uh, we all live in a time where we have much more short attention spans. Look, uh, look may nag-message sa akin, wala pala, pero still, you look at your cell phone. So, mga ganun, something like diba? that. Uh, the, the only saving grace for you to watch the whole episode completely turn on uh, turn it on full screen tapos ang usapan but then mm-hmm. again uh once you hit the pause sabi mo na nagbreak ka bigla and then you come back ay may nakita ko mga recommended videos that is the algorithm of youtube that is okay. how it works so okay. so i understand your point about video on demand over the top services now we go to i want tfc na yun nga yung yeah. kina frustrate mo in a proper yeah. sense of the word no so Last the uh, the last uh, movie anime movie that was placed on I want TFC is Weathering with You, and I was able to watch it. Na yeah. ano na ano kasi late na ako nagising eh. <laughs> uh, you know you know I was standing by for 6 a.m. for Weathering mm-hmm. with You on the holiday and then suddenly ah uh, sarap ng tulog. <laughs> well, ako kasi I had to wake up at 6 a.m. because of work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yan, yan tayo, definitely, definitely. I had to wake uh, you, uh, during the past three days. I had to wake up 6.30, 6 a.m. Uh, na late na ako sa Makia, and yun lang kinainis ko sa Makia hindi nila nilagay sa streaming. Ayun lang, oh, oh, oh. Diba? It's also with meron yata bias kay Mako to Shinkai, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Pero yun, um, because yun nga, na late na ako sa Makia for 6.30, but it was simulcast on I want TFC, and of course, I'm praying to God na sana baka simulcast din kasi. There was an instance that uh, last year, hindi available yung simulcast nung mga tatlong anime movies that was shown last year. Mm-mm. So, hindi simulcast. But they were able to uh, to make it available on demand. They were make, they made it available on demand until na nag na ng I want to I want TFC na wala na. So, yun. Um, and that's good. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I hope ABS-CBN continues this, pero, pero yun nga, um, yun nga, I mean, I mean, eto ah, kasi, I've been clamoring for, eto ah, it's, I've been clamoring for anime for an I want ever since it started. Mm. It, ever since the platform started, I want TV pa yan. Um, well, dati kasi, dati kasi, I mean, Yung I Want TV kasi, it was a mishmash of ABS-CBN content. Tapos biglang may live channels from Sky Cable. Hindi mo maintindihan kung ano ba yun. <laughs> Pero that was, that, that was the time eh. Hindi natin naintindihan yan until the concept of Netflix entered the Philippines. Correct. Yan. The, the concept of Netflix entered the, Philipp- entered the country. Yun nga, nagkaroon na ng Netflix. And then, it suddenly became... Certain for ABS-CBN to, ah, let's up the competition. Ayusin natin ito. Let's throw the old model of I want TV and let's amplify it into I want. And yes, um, they did. Actually, I want is what you call, yun nga, the broad BVOD, broadcast video on demand. It's, it's hybrid. It's an hybrid AVOD SVOD for uh, context. AVOD advertiser video on demand. SVOD subscriber video on demand. Now, yung I want is a hybrid of um advertiser based and subscriber based. Um, <coughs> it's like 
yo eto ah, um, malalayo lang tayo ng konte it's the hybrid of um nine entertainments nine now and stan Mm-mm. nine now is vvod broadcast with john demand advertised supported it's free stan is subscription so it's a hybrid of that yung ginawa ng abs-cbn yung i want and then if it, i want tfc it was a hybrid of that <coughs> So basically, so, you know, what's what Australia is experiencing right now with Nine Now and Stan is experience in the Philippines through I Want TFC. Yes. And and moving forward, dun, ano, of course, there's a plethora of content there. There's Teleradio, of course. Mm-hmm. Given the yung shutdown ng ABS-CBN, they mm-hmm. they had to adapt. So yeah. yung I Want and that the, the Filipino channel, yung TFC now nila, they merge it into I Want TFC. So yes. that's the story so far. And so far naman it's uh inakailang bisita lang ako sa I1 TFC I just watch Kapamilya channel for the anime movies nga and then ANC some ANC so far naman yeah that that uh not to me, ano just to mention yung ANC na pinanood ko that was uh play sa teleradyo Mm-mm. so walang teleradyo at that time That, that was just strictly ANC. And that reminds me of one year ago. Ganun din yung scenario eh. There were times na ang teleradyo is carrying ANC. Uh-uh. But okay. that's, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that was the time na nagkakaroon sila ng problem yata sa staffing. Yes. <laughs> nagkakaroon ng problema sa staffing kasi may mga, well, naulit lang naman, naulit lang naman ngayon kasi of course with the surge right now. Yeah, basically yon. Siguro mm-hmm. the only problem that I had with uh, I want TFC not because not dun sa content we were discussing about content about it. Dun sa techno dun sa platform itself dun sa website it's a bit clunky. Mm-hmm. Medyo bumagal siya ng slide. Sa I want kasi at least medyo smooth pa eh. But now yung I want TFC kasi it rides on the technology of TFC now. Yung Newman, yung Newman TFC and somewhat it's a bit uh, hard to somewhat it's a bit hard to act. Medyo may konting kahirapan lang ng konti. Konti lang, not necessarily mahirap. Hindi naman siya mas mahirap. Hmm. Pag sa online ka nagpunta dun sa website, iwantfc.com it redirects to tfc.tv. Mm-mm. Ayun, oo. Oh, oh. so that's, that's Sa app an- naman, Nap naman is okay. The app is okay. Of course, uh, you had to, yun, yun nga, medyo ang problema lang ng mga nagsimula sa I1 TFC, you had to, you had to uninstall the I1 app, then you have to install the new I1, the TFC app, the I1 TFC app. Mm-hmm. So, yun na yung medyo naging lang. Kasi nga, the technology was based on TFC.tv. So, ayun lang. Medyo, medyo clunky lang ng konti on the back end. Medyo mabagal if you're... Sa una, medyo nagbabagal kasi nagpopopulate yung content and all. And, yun nga. Uh, yun nga, during the time na hinahanap ko yung mga movies, yung mga I mean, movies, ang hirap niyang hanapin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ang hirap so, niyang hanapin. can you tell me which anime movies were you looking for during the transition? Hmm? Can you tell me which uh, which anime titles were you looking for during the no. transition? Ah, nung transition, ano eh? Ah. You said you were looking for anime. What anime? Ne, kasi ganito. Ah, uh, ito. Siguro, ang hinanap ko lang during the time that the transition was yung mga titles ng Ye. Ah, okay, okay. Yung mga titles ng Ye. Kasi at least man lang, at least man lang kung at least man lang mabigyan man. ito nga eh it's a funny story but it's a funny nonetheless um remember the time when Doraemon went uh moved to ABS from Germany? yes yes, yes. I, i made a joke about that na ang for na ABS and ABS got Doraemon and Regine Velasquez and GMA all GMA got was Kirai Selis Kirai that was during the time na mm-hmm. Rui but din si Kirai but that's a side the point Ito na katuwa sa ABS-CBN. <laughs> If they want it, they will take care of it. It was proven in Ragnarok the Animation in 2004. It was proven in Doraemon in 2019. Hmm. 
that was the first anime na iner nila sa I Want. Mm. Uh, mm, ba? Diba? Iner okay. nila sa I Want ang Doraemon. Same day. I mean, hours after the episode aired, available na sa I Want in HD. Mm. In high definition. Kasi yung bagong Doraemon eh. Yung 2008 yata. Mm-mm. Yung bagong Doraemon. Yeah. Nice. An hour after airing, available na sa I Want. Oh. Diba? Kung gusto ng ABS-CBN, gagawin nila yan. Mm-mm. Say, if, uh, if Ragnarok the Animation lived through the I Want era, then ilalagay nila yan sa I Want, pustahan. That's how they... Ganyan sila, ganyan sila mag-alaga ng isang property na alam nilang sa tingin nila may K. Mm-mm. And given the aggressive marketing, given the aggressive marketing that Ragnar of the Animation had, especially yung mga cast noon is members of the Star Circle Quest, Sandara Park. Ay, hindi, hindi naman. Diba? Kumanta lang, kumanta lang. Oo. Oh, kumanta pero, lang. Hindi naman yung cast. Ay, yung, hindi ano, naman okay. yung nag-dub. Yung nag-dub, <laughs> ano pa rin eh. Yung dubbers naman na nag-dub nun eh. Okay, si Blair okay, okay. Arellano, si Sherwin, si uh, director by, directed by Danny Mandia and all. Mm-mm. Pero they they got Basically, they got the Sandara part na to, to, along with the others to sing the song. Oh. 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 And ito ah. Ito lang ah. Ako first time ko nung sasabihin to. Mm. If I Want TV was available, if I Want was available during the time that Hero aired Voltes 5 Evolution, gustahan tayo ilalagay nila sa I Want. Oh. If Back Mongolian Chop Um, Back Mongolian Chop Squad was umabot pa sa I1, di pa lalabas sila yan. Because may artista eh. Oh. Di ba? They will hmm. make it available on I1. Oh. Kung nabuhay lang yung konsepto ng online streaming yung time na yun. O kung umabot man lang sila dun sa time ng streaming nitong panahon na yun. Kung mabilis-bilis ang internet, yan. kung mabilis-bilis pa ang internet oh, before. Kung mabilis oh. yung internet yung time na yun. But, that's, that's, that's equivalent of, the, that's, what, what I'm saying here is, kung kaya ng ABS-7 na ilagay yung mga titles na yun, why not invest in anime? Ito sinasabi ko, ang tagal, ito ang problema ng ABS-7 kasi, Uh, okay, ito, dadahilan nila kasi uh, Korean dramas will have an audience. Yeah, there is a captive audience for that. Pero, come on. You just look at, you just look at Netflix. You just look at, yun na, uh, anyone. You just look at uh, News Asia. Tapos, yun nga, just, tumingin-tingin ka lang sa YouTube. To search ka lang, Tagalog dub anime. Part 1, part 2, part 3. Oo. Hindi ba, hindi ba, hindi ba ninyo, hindi ninyo ba nakikita yun na may mga pirata na, na pirated anime, Tagalog anime titles because people want anime, people want to watch uh, Filipino anime titles. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, I know people will hate me for this, for saying na, na dapat may Filipino dub anime titles, but, It will lead that it will lead to sa isa natin conversation yung isa pa nating point do sa conversation natin. I mean <laughs> people watch anime dub. I mean nakita ko yung mga yung mga pirated videos tumaabot ng 20,000 views, 30,000 views. Isa mga umaabot pa yata ng 100,000 views. So, yeah, it's people are longing for Filipino dub anime. Hindi kahit na sabihin na natin na people would want to watch Same day anime on English subtitles. I know, we understand English. We we read English. I mean, hindi naman tayo. We read English naman. We understand the English subtitles naman. Pero of course, and this is what I learned, of course, I this is what I've learned um, during the time that I took on the education beat for a short time. I was invited, I went to a webinar about mother tongue education. I don't know if this is um if this will um if the concept will be applicable here 
Pero yes, um, sometimes, mas maintindihan ng tao if the method of communication is through mother tongue. And that is, that is one main reason why we should have Filipino dubs on on our anime shows because maintindihan mo yung story eh. Again, I'll put my I'll put my perspective into it weathering with you. Nanonood ako sa scene niyan. Pinanood ko sa scene niyan. Of course, after the movie, of course, after the movie, naiyak na ako. Of course. Emotional. Naiyak. Maganda yung pelikula. That's, that's, that's proving maganda yung pelikula. But when I watched Weathering With You on on I Want, on on Kapamina Channel, on Signal, and also on I Want, putya, wala pa ako, na, wala, hindi pa natatapos yung pelikula, namumugto na yung mata ko. Lumuluha na ako. Tinatablan na ako. So, I mean, that's how you feel the movie. Mm-hmm. Nararamdaman mo talaga yung emotion nung mga nagsasalita. Of course, provided na maganda yung dub. And I could, and I've been, I've said it I'm, in my blog, I've said it in my blog, on my Facebook blog na, yes, maganda naman yung dubbing. Matatamaan ka talaga kung tatamaan ka talaga. Hindi ka pwedeng, hindi, ano, bato lang ang itatamaan ang weathering with you. Oh. <laughs> diba? So, uh, yun. Uh, yun. Maybe sa, the others, hindi na, hindi na iya ako, hindi yan. Pero ako, wala eh. Maganda yung pelikula eh. Maganda yung pelikula. Kung baga parang there's this climax and then the long and then the soundtrack. And then, sabayan mo pa nung, ah, mabilis ko naintindihan because it's on the uh, it's on the mother tongue. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, mas, of course, the processing is doon tayo sanay, diba? Mm-mm. Ito ah. I mean, people are aware of Pop TV. Mm. I hope people are aware of Pop TV. Yung streaming service ng Synergy 88. Mm. They have five <laughs> anim- Tama ba? Tatlo Tatlo lang palang yata Or lima Ang pinakanalala ko doon sa titles na nilabas ng Pop TV na It's on the mother tongue How oh. many dumbbells have you lift? Ayun Exercise the anime <laughs> Ayun, natataw- Alam mo, pinanood ko yan Pinapanood ko yan in- Ito natatawa ako Nasa pag-ibig ako noon mm. <laughs> I think that was February Nag-apply ako ng, fi- ng ng salary loan noon. Of course, nasa pag-ibig ka, you have to wait. So, pinunod ko yung dumbbell, yung gumbbells anime. Tawa ako ng tawa. Kasi tawa ako ng tawa. Nakakatawa yung dub nung, ano, nung dumbbell, nung dumbbell anime. Hindi ko lang matapos, tapos kasi nga, ang dami kong ginagawa. Pero nakakatawa siya. I mean, that's how, that's how you connect yung istorya, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi, well, um, maybe naiba lang siguro yung yung understanding ko dun sa My Hero Academia dami nila. Kasi of course, nasanay ako dun sa DC Carino version. Mm-hmm. Sa Yay and sa ABS. Nasanay ako dun. Kasi hindi nila tinuloy. And, yun din. Yun din yung isa kong gripe with I want. Di man nila inexploit na sa kanila na yung My Hero Academia, di pa nila nilagay sa I Want. Oh. Diba? Ang laki-laking anime ni title nun. Oh. At our diba? time, hindi pa natin nare-realize na, ganun ka, na ganito magiging hit ang My Hero Academia until the first few pages of the manga were scattered around Facebook feeds, the story, the setting, and all. And, o oh nga, this is a shonen anime that's fit for the Philippines. Tama! Di ba? I mean... Yeah, ABS CBN had aired it in uh, in 2018. Pinan in in air nila yon, in in air nila sa Ye. Pero no, wala, hindi man nila in air, hindi man nila guys I want TV for catch up. Oh. Hmm. Nasayang lang. Nasayang lang kasi I mean, that's how you retain your audience. Putting it on a streaming service retains your audience. Ilalagay mo sa hindi mo man hindi man ito binge watch but put it on put it on the I want pig put it on I want pig on I want for ano ilalagay mo yan sa I want for catch up papanoorin na yan anytime of the day anytime, anytime of the day convenience mm-hmm. 
Case in point yun nga. Case in point yung nangyari nga with the weathering with you. Nalate oh. ako ng gising. Thankfully, there's catch up and I was able to catch up with the story. Okay naman sa akin. Wala akong gripes. I, all I feel is the same feeling that I had felt when watching it in cinemas. O, oh, diba? Oo. Audience, that, that, I, putting it on demand is not just about uh, watching it on a phone or a mobile or laptop. Audience retention din yan. Let's say, hindi mo nga napanood yung title. There's catch up. And when, there's, when, when, when you are able to catch up on the series, mapapanood mo, na, mapapanood mo siya anytime you're on the phone. And thankfully, wala sa paywall yung ano, weathering with you. Oh, yun. Di ba? Hindi, pa siya, hindi pa siya on premium tier. Wala pa so, sa premium free. tier. Oo. Oh. Get my... I hope we... I hope you... Listen, I hope you guys get my point when when I when I'm discussing about this kasi I mean we all watch right now on our phones on our tablets I mean it, it, our phone is now a miracle device it saves our lives mm. right now Definitely. I mean we were ne- we, we, kung hindi ta- kung nangyari ang pandemic noong 2003 noong panahon ay Nokia 3310 Diyos ko, ewan ko na lang mabubuhay pa tayo noong time na yun. <laughs> mm, 2003, hindi pa mabilis ang internet noon. So, oh, paano diba? kaya? Oh, mm, diba? wala, wala, wala talagang, hindi uso ang salitang binge watching at that time. Correct. Ang uh, uso mm. pa noon is appointment watching, appointment viewing. Ayan ang hindi ko alam. <laughs> appointment viewing because uh, you gathered around uh, and watching you go, on ah, a watch it on schedule. TV. Oo, oh. oh, oh, watching it on a television. Uh, yun nga, y- 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 yung sinasabi ng appointment, of course, eh, appointment viewing, kasi you gathered around on a living room, on a sofa, uh, you see something good at Sunday at 7.30, you get into the channel, put it on the channel, and then the whole family watches together. That's appointment television. Nawala na yun. Appointment TV is long gone. It's now more personalized television. It's more personalized television kasi nga, we have in our con- we have the the we have in our hands the the biggest um machine known to man with saves uh that controls our destiny this is a smartphone and Mm-mm. i mean imagine we, imagine la having an isekai series with literally a smartphone <laughs> imagine being isekai literally with a smartphone <laughs> that, there's a series with that sa ani an, uh, what's there uh, anime uh, uh, diba diba uh, 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 it, take note Video on demand is not a new concept. Video on demand is not a new concept. It has been invented since the 70s. It has been there for... I mean, it has been invented, perfected in the 70s, in the 80s, and the 90s. And in the 70s, cable pioneers were saying that there would be a time that w- that people would be choosing a movie to watch or a TV show to watch with the flick of a remote uh, delivered by a phone lines. I mean, that's... They knew video on demand was... They knew the concept of video on demand. They, of course, it was a major... Um, major... Magtisila sa pag... Uh, ano nun, pag develop nun. But... The system was perfected by late 1990s, and now we're now taking it for we're now taking video on demand for granted because we have uh, we have the system now we've perfected the system. I mean, uh, I mean, pero hindi pa rin nawawala. Of course, video on demand is there because you want to watch whenever and wherever you want. Ako ang tingin ko sa video on demand. Yeah. Um, there are original titles, but the main reason why I want to watch on video on demand because, I mean, there's an alternative for me whenever I can't watch something on TV. Yan ang dapat isa isip natin. VOD should be an alternative, not just an alternative. It's a complement. Mm, actually. To- Mm-hmm. Actually, I had to catch you on that because video on demand is now the norm. In especially in our times, GMA Network, who's very hesitant in sharing their series 
their titles on YouTube suddenly decided na they will distribute it via YouTube and they will have uh, they will be supported by YouTube the platform for super stream and mm-hmm. and they developed their own uh, name to it it's called Gets so if GMA Network was able to decide na eto may mas maraming audience natin dito sa YouTube because they uh, i believe from hours after the episode of their series with whatever mm-hmm. it is airing lalabas na sa YouTube yan highlights mm-hmm. diba mm-hmm. so you don't need to uh, they also even serve highlights of it mm-hmm. even ABS-CBN so mm-hmm. yun yung mga bagay na ngayon uh, masasabi natin the second screen is no longer the cell phone it's the TV yeah. the tables have turned correct Kasi, I mean, I mean, yeah, um, the future is not anymore on the TV screen. The Wala na, the TV is screen. Not if, if, on the TV screen. Diba? The future is on the connected TV screen. Yon, diba? So there's why we have Android TV. So, stating mm-hmm. the case, you can diba? even watch on demand on TVs. As long as you're connected to the internet. Mm-hmm. Your internet is now your antenna. Mm-hmm. And, Kahit sabihin natin, of course, given the fact na we are both part of DTV Pilipinas, mm-hmm. na itong, uh, of course, that's TV, that's the next uh, development in TV broadcasting, hindi pa rin may kakaila na while it is developing, the same thing with the internet, as long as we get faster and faster internet, and thankfully naman, we do, uh, in a sense, although we're still lagging versus other countries, is that yung internet natin dito sa Pilipinas, it's enough already to develop this content the, this age of content this the, there are many streamers nowadays filipino vtubers are now the norm mm-hmm. so diba mm-hmm. in, in a sense you're no longer watching the tv you're watching the in, through the internet you're watching yes. the internet Mm-mm. pero pero again the platform is there the andyan na yung platform but Again, ito pa rin ang pinaka-importante sa lahat. And this is an off-repeated quote and it has been attributed to Sumner Redstone, the late chairman of Viacom. Content is king. Yun pa rin. Content is king. You may have the wires, you may have the platform, you may have the technology to put it, Pero if you don't have the content that will serve the people, wala rin yan. Wala rin yan. Hindi rin yan, hindi rin yan mag, tawag dito, it will never prosper if you don't have the content. What's your phone if you don't have a content in it? What's your mobile, what's your TV, connected TV without content in it? So, it's all, it still all boils down to content. Yeah, sure, you have Netflix, but Netflix will not survive with just, uh, ano lang, uh, scrolling, scrolling lang. They have to have content. And content is the linchpin of Netflix's domination. Of course, they have to invest in original movies, original series. Kasi, hindi sila mabubuhay lang ng... Ng, ano lang, licensing lang from other studios. Hindi mm-hmm. sila mabubuhay na as an aggregator. They aggregator. have to live they have to live as a develop uh, as someone who develops content. And with mm-hmm. Netflix anime going to release 40, around 40 titles this mm-hmm. 2021 and they've released an initial slew of it. So they've, they've already had shown themselves their power sa anime Japan with Goku Shufudo uh, being streamed isang bagsakan on Netflix. First five episodes and Binge then watch. some. Binge watch na po. So mm. y- y- yung, 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 th- this time really very interesting times. We live in very, very interesting times. Uh, again, age of content. Where, whereas hindi ka na lang basta-basta na aggregator na uh, kukuha ka na ng content from anything. You have to share oh, your own content. Lang basta and... mag, hindi ka na lang basta mag-upload ng kahit ano dyan or mag-aggregate mm-hmm. ka lang ng content dyan or making content exclusively for a select audience. No. You have to create an audience that is um an audience that is more technically savvy and yet 
more discerning. Yeah. Um, yeah, more discerning, pero yun nga, people are flock, I mean, people are flocking to the streaming services because they want an alternative to what they have been offered on television. And that's true. In the U.S., broadcast numbers are down. Broadcast numbers are down. The only um, numbers that are rating in the high 10 millions is either the sp- either sports, news, live events, or the occasional Harry Meghan interview. <laughs> Or, or di ba yung mga parades, mga ganun? Of course, mm, we, don't, we didn't... Hindi na rin. Hindi na rin, no? We didn't have... We did, I think we didn't have any parades na grandiose as this. Hindi na ma... Hindi na appointment. Hindi na, hindi na pinapanood yun ng mga tao. Mas gusto nila matulog. <laughs> mga parada. O, ganun. So, yun. Ano na lang. The only thing that rates for the networks are sports, news, occasional live events, live plays, everything live. And yun nga, an occasional and big ticket uh, newsmaker interview. Kaya nga people, kaya nga the networks are investing more on sports. Because sports keeps viewers into their TV sets. It's live. Anything can happen sa sports. And it only, tawag dito, it converges the family. Entertainment, ah, oh, they can, ano naman yun eh, they can option it for either broadcast TV or stri- or on demand, on streaming. Pero, yun nga, right now, it's shifting. The world is, it's shifting right now na we had to look into so many options right now. And that's what I think about uh, that's what should I that you what that's what should we think right now about uh streaming right now? Because we can't just have streaming content titles on English alone or on Japanese alone, <laughs> on English language alone or Japanese language alone. Yung pala. Kasi, ano eh? Yeah, sure, we can watch English subs. We can watch English. We can watch English dubs. Pero, ang makakaintindi lang yun is, makakaintindi lang yun is ABC. ABC1. ABC1. Actually, hindi pa ABC2. Hindi pa kasama C2 dyan. E, paano naman yung C2DE? Of course, naiwanan sila. Mm-hmm. Naiwanan sila. Mm-hmm. They deserve best they deserve the best anime titles. They do not deserve another rerun of Slam Dunk. Oo. They do not deserve an- they do not deserve another rerun of uh One Piece. Or they Detective Conan or Doraemon that. or they don't, they don't want to deserve that kind of BS. Come on. Wag natin gawin, wag natin gaguhin yung tao. <laughs> Di ba? I mean, or Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> The list goes on. <laughs> I mean, G- it, sabi na natin, GMA. I mean, naglagay nga ng anime. I mean, yun nga, naging, naging big issue pa kayo ng kakaroon ng anime sa GMA News TV. Ayun na nga. Which is just very unfortunate. Talagang, talagang yung, hes- ano eh, I still believe that the hesitation that GMA had when it's trying to rebrand itself and then eventually nauna pang maglagay ng content to mga to kesa sa palitan yung branding nila para magtugma dun sa kung ano bang goal nila sa buhay. Eh, yan na nga po. So, the, the cost of that decision is the frustration of anime fans na nanonood lang kami dito sa Netflix and we're watching over the internet. Naglalabas pa kayo ng anime dyan. Mga bata, mag, maaga magising lang na, nanonood dyan. And God, for goodness sakes, Bakit kami napopulaan uli? Wala na kaming paki dyan. Diba? Diba? I mean, I mean, 
Diba? Na, sa, sa panahon na nonood mm-hmm. ang tao sa Netflix, sa Crunchyroll, wherever they can, News Asia, anyone nowadays. And then makikita mo this piece of news from 20 some, uh, 2020 na ano 2020 2021 na na bakit kayo nag air ng anime sa isang news channel <laughs> pambihira diba? pambihira diba? talaga it's... i mean i mean we we we've, re- we've already resigned to the fact that anime on terrestrial tv is dead diba? dead I mean... Kaya... and then diba and then suddenly this para namang ano diba? yan it's we're being taken for granted on TV naman. Eh. Mga broadcasters, they can decide whatever they can show. Uh, of course, you definitely know this. You 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 uh, you come uh, you look up to Tartikov. Uh, yeah. yun nga, Brandon Tartikov, yes. Brandon Tartikov, a uh, little bit of context, the most successful broadcast programmer in uh, in the US. I mean, he was um he was lining up there with Fred Silverman, one of the best programmers in best programmers in the US and Brandon Tartikoff ran NBC Entertainment for 10 years and he programmed it to win it. He consistently number one on the top. Consistently all, number across one all boards. For, mm, across across all ano, across all day parts and yun nga, sinabi nga niya, he famously said that um, ratings is a game and he plays to it and he plays it like, and he plays it to win it. And that's basically and that's um, yun nga eh. the, the people, programmers are thinking the audience is like they're pawns in chess. Nilalaro lang tayo ng mga programmers natin on free to air TV. Mm-hmm. And this is why we we left them for cable TV. Yung mga maka-afford ng cable TV, they go watch Ani Plus or Animax on Signal or Sky. And then, yung mga hindi naman maka-afford, as long as they have internet and data, they can actually download episodes of anime on their YouTube app. Correct. So, Muse Asia and anyone. So, Correct. nandiyan na tayo. And then, of course, the Netflix gang. Netflix gang. Oh, Netflix. <laughs> diba? Pero yun nga. Pero yun nga. Provided that you have the money to pay for it. Provided that you have the money to pay for Netflix. Hmm. YouTube, yeah. Libre lang yan. But provided that you have the load. Mm-mm. Especially the load. It's a Netflix, you'll have to pay mm-hmm. like uh, at least mga 150 pesos a month uh-huh. to, to just access it on mobile. Nila. And then their mobile plus plan, which you can uh-huh. access via laptops or tablets, around 250 pesos. So uh, if, if you do have 250 pesos, 250 pesos, that's ano. Kung mm-hmm. If you have 250 pesos to spare, if, yeah. of course, yeah, 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 you have 250 pesos to spare. Or, mas wete kay kung may stable na internet kayo. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Sweti kayo pag may stable na internet kayo, eh, paano kung wala kayong stable na internet? Still a problem in the Philippines, in the grassroots areas. Diba? Diba? Daming, yun nga, problema pa rin natin yung internet na yun eh. Mm-hmm. Infrastructure. Problema natin, ang problema na, problema ang internet natin. I mean, we've been, <laughs> I mean, it's already been a cliche that it's already been cliche now we are having problems with our internet. I mean, hmm. We have been laughing at um, blow-ups and bloopers every time na may press briefing tapos bigla napuputol yung internet. <laughs> Tatawa tayo doon. Pero that's the sad reality. That's the sad reality. We can we are not yet, we, our internet infrastructure is not up to par. And yun nga, People, uh, people in the low, in the low income margins of society, are not lucky to have. Hindi sila masaya na may masaya tayong sila pag meron silang natitirang barya, may may papan load pa nila. Pero some of them hindi naman they don't own a smartphone. Some of them they don't even own a smartphone. Often times the smartphone lang nila. Yung lumang model pa. Mm-mm. Yung hindi na kayang supportahan yung mga mm-hmm. uh, ano ba yung mga mga apps of today. Uh, ang mga hindi, ba, hindi na supportahan. Mga, yung, ano, at that time, uso pa noon free basics eh. Ngayon kaya, uso pa ba ang free Facebook? <laughs> I think, hindi na yata yung yata. free basics eh. Wala na yata yung free basics eh. Mm-hmm. Disc- ang na... tawag na yata ngayon is Discover by Facebook na eh. Oh, oh, Talagang yeah. they really owned it na oh, this is ours. This is Facebook. Oo. Oo. 
Yeah. So, ayun. Um, so, yun. Um, yeah. Ang haba na ano natin, no? Oh, yeah. Haba na usapan natin. Ano yun naman ang sabi ko? I mean, I mean, this is why we have been stressing this. I mean, I've been stressing this in my different uh, blog posts. And it could be summarized in three things. Number one, VOD should be democratized. Let's not, wag na nating gawing elitista ito. Let them, let's democratize with you on demand. Number two, to democratize with you on demand, we have to expand it. And number three, how to expand it? Put Filipino language dubs on video on demand titles. Simple. Simple lang. Yan lang. You have to democratize video on demand. People will flock, anime fans will flock to a video on demand service if the content is there. If anime, if Filipino dub anime is there. And if the platform is okay, it's very easy to use. Yes, kung oh. madali ang platform. Mm-mm. And this not this does not this just not goes all, all on hindi lang to for I want TFC. Hindi lang to for Pop TV. But to all other streamers out there, Viva Max, Signal Play, Wii TV iFlix, and even Netflix. <laughs> I commend Netflix for doing a Tagalog dub of Dragon's Blood, Dota, kahit di ko pa napapanood. Mm-hmm. Kahit di ko pa siya napapanood kasi wala, wala akong Netflix right now. But, I commend them. That's a start. But, maybe Netflix should con- reconsider putting Filipino dubs kasi Filipino dubs will make ne- the Netflix experience more more open to everybody. More local. More local. Tama. Mm. Trece, yes, because it's a Filipino It's content. a Filipino title, yes. Oh, Filipino title. And I can't imagine Eloy Soberano speaking... Well, well baka Taglish naman. I could... Taglish naman speak. yan, definitely. Baka Taglish naman, pero... Um, yeah. So there, ayun. Uh, it all boils down to... Let's democratize uh, over-the-top video content. Let's expand it. I mean, good. We have Korean dramas, yes. Pabayanan natin sila. Mm-mm. They already have their own sub-channel on digital receivers. Yeah, they already have. Meron na silang, ano na yan. It's already given na yan. Mm, I mean, mga pelikula, they already have their sub-channel uh-oh. na. They, they, they even have their own libraries na. Or okay. in VODs and all. Pero of course, we're centralizing, uh, we're going back to the anime community na Uh, sabihin natin, ini-ignore lang ng mga top broadcasters nowadays. Uh, that, that, again, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking back at TV5 anime. Yeah? That was a major move in the, ano, that was that was where I watched my gateway anime. Diba? diba? I mean, I mean, TV5 before MVP was good. <laughs> uh, TV5, uh, during the media prima, prime media era, no? <laughs> TV5 during, uh, yeah, the, the, the time TV5 when Tony Boy was just there sitting on his, was there with Gretchen Barreto. <laughs> Inahayaan lang niyang TV5 to be contro- mm. uh, to be operated by the guys at Media Prime, at Prime Media. Mm-mm. Inahayaan lang niya, basta, there. I, I, I will not interfere. Basta may news content lang kami. Mm-hmm. The evening news. Then, yun na. On your own. on your own. And then suddenly, GMA complained, bakit yung hinahayaan yung mga yan? Ayun. Diba? As if, as if nahihilahan sila ng competition. I, I don't know. They could, they, I, I, I don't know. We, we don't know. <laughs> Pero we can easily assume na this is during the time na TV5 was a rising name with different content, with different time slots, with a different audience. And Ayan. then they're slowly eating the competition out. Not just two, eh, not eh, just uh, seven. Uh, kinain kasi nila, yung, kinain nila sa QTV. <laughs> Ayun. Ayun lang. Reklamo si... Kasi, GMA was... GMA was, of course, napaka slide din ang GMA. They want QTV to be number two. They want QTV to be number two. At least number three. Mm. 
Kasi, of course. It's channel 11. It's okay, easily, can easily, can be easily on the dial. Oh, hindi. Saka, of course, it want, they want to pressure ABS. Gusto nilang pressure si ABS noong time na yon Kasi, of course, GMA number 1, QTV number 3, ABS-CBN number 2. Sabihin na natin na very distant ang number 2 at number 3. Still, it puts pressure on ABS-CBN na baka maunahan sila ni QTV. N3TV5. Oh, nasira ang plano. It became a three-horse three, three, three-headed horse race. Mm. And this Kasi is proven by sa... statistics, di ba? Yung QTV being number three. Proven oh. by statistics yan. Because uh, uso pa nun ng... Ano, hanggang ngayon pa naman, uso pa rin ng AGB. Tama ba? Yeah, Nielsen. The Nielsen. The Nielsen. 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 Pati kasi AGB no. Nielsen ang alam kong pangalan nun eh. Mm. It's now Nielsen na no? And Nielsen yeah. and Kantar. Oo, Kantar Media. Oo. Mm. Yun. Um, uh, yun nga. Um, they want to put pressure on ABS-CBN kasi nga, GMA number one, QTB number three. Oh, yeah. And so Channel 23 is out of the woods. <laughs> Wala na. Umungusan na namin eh. Pero biglang, Pasa si TV5. From a uh, one horse, two-headed race, it became a three-headed horse race. Get my drift? Mm. Noong una, ang kalaban lang ng ABS-CBN eh, isang kabay, dalawang ulo. Mm. Pero ngayon, ang, ngayon, ang kalaban na ng, ang biglang naging tatlong kabayo na laban. ba? Diba? So, mm. um, well, that's an that's, that's another that's story. Analogy, pero, get the drift. I mean, mm. yun nga, Um, yeah, during the time TV5 was I don't know they were su- they were successful to a point pero yes advertisers were not were not uh, were not interested mm. yun lang kasi uh, I think TV5 was too young too edgy too too hip to be programmed for for the advertisers to consider I mean Yeah. <laughs> Or rather sana yung mga advertisers sa katotohanan na we have the big two. Yeah. Oo, kaya yeah. lang tayo naging the big three because TV5 really went to edge. They really competed despite all the challenges and odds. Despite all of the skepticism. Despite all of these things. They really, they're still competing. Kahit na kung sino mang umupo dyan sa TV5, we have Chotreyes, Jane Basas. Tony Boy Kowanko, whoever that the guys at Media Prima are, really, uh, those were interesting times. Kaya nga sinasabi ko sa sarili ko, big three. Big three pa rin to. So, it's still, it's still, ngayon, of course, with ABS-CBN gone, hmm. on free to air, it's now a proxy fight. Mm-mm. Proxy fight proxy kung saan ka maka- diba? oh, oh. Kung saan ka makakakuha ng audience. So, um, considering the fact that ABCBN stroke a deal with TV5 for its primetime block and the, its noon time show, Sunday noon time show, no? it's pretty much amazing at these times na you were able to distribute your content not just on one channel but two. No. E- well, um, ABCBN has, number one, ABCBN has no choice and number two, TV5 has no choice either. Mm-hmm. It's a, it, it, at these times, it's a win-win situation talaga. Oh, win-win situation you want to get talaga. Our, I mean, ano, diba? Robert, oh, Galang eh. said in a, Robert Galang said in a Content Asia interview na, yeah, our revenue shot up to 400%, per, 400% and audience ratings 300%. Our five years of reverse, take note, five years of reverse has been reversed. Five years of losses have been reversed. We're still losing money, but our losses have been reversed. Pero yun nga, yun nga, sinabi nila, they're expanding, ngayon lang nila sinabi, they're expanding their nationwide digital TV network. Mm. I, think it, ko, I think it's pretty, pretty prevalent naman when they're asking people to risk their boxes. Eh. Dati hindi mo yung magagawa. Eh. Tatapat no. mo yung antena mo somewhere. There's five. No. Diba? Pero, ngayon, you're asking... Your oh. audience to risk on your boxes to get the signal. That mm-hmm. means, hindi, kahit hindi pa sabihin ni Mr. Galang yan eh. They're doing it. Oo. Pero, the only problem that I had is 10 years too late. Is it? 10 years too late. Is it? Yes. Why? Sila. I mean, 
ABS-CBN had been building up their infrastructure to even during even mm. during the time that TV5 was still relaunching. Mm. They're building their infrastructure on digital TV. I mean, they've been doing digital TV ever since 2007 pa. DVB-T pa yung de facto so, standard nun. DVB-T pa nila standard pa nun. DVB-T pa lang. Nagkaroon na tayo ng, re, ng dalawang beses na na-approvahan yung standard. Mm-hmm. They, they should have they should have been they should have nung time na na si Dusko well, we were there at the TV5 trailer eh. kung na naman tayo history lesson na naman tayo <laughs> we have been we, there, we were there at the TV5 trailer and if not for the TV5 trailer hindi na may kilala si Sir James Rodney Santiago mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. eh, kung na ko na yung kwento nito for, our, for those uh, for just a little bit of context uh, we were invited to TV5 to, to in their TV5 trade launch And then, nun sa likod ng World Trade Center, near the tech booth, may nag, eh, ano doon, may nag, may nag-demo doon ng digital TV. So, me, me, we, we, me, we being me and JM, nag-build na kami. Then, we were, we were curious about it. Then, kino, then may kumusap sa amin isang, ano, chinitong lalaking payat. Mm. Na mukhang hapon. Mm. Pero nagtatagalog. Mm. Akala namin, hapon talaga. Mm. Pero tatagalog. <laughs> Later lang namin na-realize si Sir James pala yung kausap namin na yun. <laughs> I mean, three years, I mean, two years after, two years after, nung pinakalala siya ni Pat sa amin na uh, si Sir James, ah, ikaw pala yun, sir. <laughs> fun times, fun times, fun mm. times. Ang late so, ng mundo, yun, no? Ang late ng mundo. So, yun. Um... That's basically my gripes about, I mean, that's basically my gripes about over-the-top content. And, um, yeah, I mean, guys, if you are listening right now, and if you're an anime fan, if you're a Filipino dub fan, please, bombard letters to I want or to any other streaming services. Viva Max, Pop TV, demand them. We want more anime content. We want Filipino dub anime content. If you're listening right now, bombard them. Tweet them. Uh, message them on Facebook. And um, demand. Demand generation. Hindi na nga ngayon tawag, hindi na nga ngayon tawag sa, uh, meron ng bagong term ngayon sa ano eh, Wala nang instant yeah. gratification. Puro demand na lang ngayon. Eh, no? Demand generation na ang tawag ngayon. I, mm-hmm. I learned this term during the vaccine um, during the vaccine rollout. Hindi na ngayon. Dati nga, task, ano, eh, ngayon, ano, strategic communication and demand generation. Bagong term for marketing. Mm-hmm. Hindi na ngayon. Dati, marketing lang yan. Marketing lang yan. Eh. Pero ngayon, iba na ngayon. Demand generation. You generate demand to your audience. So, so yun, um, if you're listening right now, please, demand the streamers you want to have an expanded content slate. Please, demand your streaming provider because you're, you're paying for it, you're serving them, you, you are using their service, demand it. And maybe, just maybe, baka matulad na rin tayo Singapore that a deal between a streaming service and and a content provider will happen and we might be enjoying anime in Filipino dub. And that, should we say, would be the biggest victory of us during this second era of Pinoy Japanese pop culture. Good luck. All right. That uh, that said, thank you very much, Red, for taking your time to really. It's really an expansive. Oh, we we went from nostalgia to programming, and then we eventually go to the next age of content, which is yun nga, uh, from physical to virtual. For now, san ka namin makikita? Okay, so of course, uh, I have two pages on Facebook, Red Mendoza, where I write all my commentaries about media, anime in general. And uh, please like uh, my official Manila Times Facebook page, Red Mendoza, the Manila Dash, the Manila Times. 
Okay, so dalawang Red Mendoza 'yon. Yung isang header noon, uh, um, convention, picture convention. Yung isang header nung isa is ano yung mga name naman ni Red Mendoza, the Manila Times and then yung header noon is yung Manila Times logo. So really mo makita 'yon. So if you want to uh, please like and sh- please like and share and comment on those uh, whenever I put it, whenever I write something there. Twitter twitter.com slash uh, Nikira ATN for anime and RM Mendoza TMT for the latest health news on uh, news on my beat, the Department of Health Beat. Of course, uh, please visit the Manila Times website, the Manila Times.net. And of course, uh, please subscribe to our digital edition, less than two pesos a day, tmt.ph slash digital edition. So, it's cheaper than your convention ticket right now. <laughs> <laughs> and kung tito and, kayo and may Viber yung mga kasama ninyo, di ba may Viber community? Tayo? Yes, the Manila Times community on Viber. And um, I also host um, a series of shows on Ambox National. Mm-hmm. Um, time is very, but it's every, it's always on the weekend. I post it on my page, on my pages and on my Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, please like, like Ambox National on Facebook kasi we have lots of guests in store. As we take this, um, or once we release this, kailan ba release ito? Well, it's usually on a Friday, so yeah, after yeah. this, we'll, lagari na. We'll, yeah, so uh, when we when we release this, we'll be guesting WCS Team Taiwan. Mm, mm. Yeah, Team Taiwan 2015 and 2016. So it's an interesting episode. Um, please do watch out and we will be having more guests. I can't say who. But we have interesting guests soon. And so please like and share yung Unbox National page. And of course, Anime Pilipinas. It's AnimePilipinas.com, social media, Anime Pilipinas. So again, thank you very much, Jay, again, uh, for letting me vent. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. <laughs> Mayroon pang part two, ah. Mayroon pang part two, ah. <laughs> and letting me binyag this new... equipment that I have. Uh, same has, with me. Nakakabinyat ko lang ng bagong equipment na to. I it didn't... has a special report. <laughs> wala. Oh, di ba? May mixer ka pa nga eh. Ako, wala pa. Hindi <laughs> ko nga nagamit ko. <laughs> Pero yeah. Um, I hope na you... I hope na hindi kayo na bore. And uh, I hope that... um. And yeah, we will be having more conversations about this soon. So yeah, please uh, continue following and supporting Jay, of course, on his podcast. It's always a great pleasure to be here and just talk about ex- just talk about anything aside from my beat. <laughs> Mm-mm. So yun ang ano again. Uh, okay, so uh, ano ba? <laughs> Na nawala na ako. Sabi ko nga, may part 2 pa tayo. So, on the next episode, we will still have red. Pero for now, jayagonoy.xyz slash podcast is where you can listen to the past episodes or you can watch the past episodes there. And also, anchor.fm slash keepsakes. We are on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. So, you can listen to us wherever, whenever you want to. Then again, maraming salamat. This has been Jay Agone. This is Keepsakes. So, Red, see you later for the see part two. Thank you. <laughs> May part two pa tayo. Yeah.